in this video we are going to see a basic uh, concept of uh, EML diagram I'm going to use this software remember low EML for this purpose so uh, there is a class diagram so we are going to discuss only about this entity relationship so I'm going to create a new entity there by right clicking the entity relation model and I'm going to create a new entity and I'm going to the properties of new entity I'm going to give a name for entity let me say book so I'm going to create attributes for the entity entity is nothing but a table so I'm going to create a new uh, attribute for that so it is of type int so I'm going to give uh, the name as book ID I'm going to set as an auto increment and I'm going to click OK so I'm going to create another entity I mean another attribute uh, let me say it as a book name uh, it may be like b name uh, can put b name so for uh, data type i am going to choose varchar uh, varchar is not there uh, okay so varchar is not there because uh, the data type might be set to another uh, language so i am going to change that language so i simply click ok click code active language it is in c++ so the data types are shown related to the C++ now I'm going to change into MySQL so now I'm going to right click that entity and clicking the properties again I'm going to create that book name attribute B name now I can see uh, the varchar there you know that varchar is going to get uh, the strings so the length may be like 50 I'm going to click OK so just a simple example so I'm going to create another attribute let me say that attribute name is author id uh, or author id you can go connect and see the table so i am going to put author id uh, data type may be int ok so i am going to click ok I'm going to click the ok again uh, ok so another thing is constraint we can add constraint primary key constraint so book id is a constraint so I'm going to click OK. So you can see that the book ID is created. Sanity OK. So now, uh, like, uh, you can simply drag. It is not uh, coming. Okay, I got add another entity. Let me add another entity. If we name it as uh, author, I'm going to create an author table and I'm going to link this table with uh, the book table. So already in the book table, I have created an ID which is author ID. So I'm now going to uh, create a foreign key reference uh, based upon these tables. Simply, I'm going to create an author ID and another name is an author name. For example, like author name. Now I'm going to connect both the tables. That is what we are going to see here. So that red color. Let me say 100. Click OK. OK. So constraint primary key constraint. I'm going to create that uh, author ID as a constraint here. Uh, like uh, it is not added. Primary key author ID add OK. So now there is an uh, constraint in this table. Primary key constraint. So why this uh, two tables are not showing here is we need to create an entity relationship model. You have to click that arrow and you have to click entity relationship diagram. You can give any name and click OK. Uh, by default there is class diagram. That is why our table while we are tracking it is not showing. So we need to create an entity relationship diagram by clicking that arrow and uh, we need to create give a name. Uh, give a name as a library. By simply dragging now we can uh, see the table. Now I am going to create a foreign key reference for that I am going to right click the book table and I am going to click the properties and go into the entity uh, constraints I am going to create a foreign key constraint so the foreign key constraint reference table uh, should be like uh, okay first we will check this is a book and we are having local column as book id and uh, similarly reference column same table so um, we should not select this table because we are in the same table 
so we we need to uh, change the table name now because we are not going to create a foreign key constraint so i am going to reference uh, i mean change the table as author because that is the second table and i am going to click the constraint now i have to click the author id of the first table local column and reference id is author id of the second uh, table now i am clicking the okay now you can see there is a reference that has been created see clearly so from the book we have created a reference that is author id uh, referenced from the author table so that is what uh, this diagram shows now we can uh, create the code for the same code like uh, how we can uh, create is like okay in the left you can see that there is a new constraint that is a foreign key constraint created within the book table there are so that is the thing now how to create the code for this table is we have to click the uh, code and <coughs> Of this code generation like code generation wizard you can click the code generation wizard there is an option for mysql you can click next and you can select both the tables and you have to click the next now you have to generate by doing this it will uh, i have already created this okay or right by doing this it will generate the code for uh, mysql you can directly copy the code and you can paste it in mysql so the tables will be created in the mysql so while uh, first at the first time it will be asking for a default folder for uh, where to store this uh, table uh, structure and all i have uh, created already so i am going to that location here it is in my my documents so i am going to click the toml generated code you can see the code like uh, the mysql code by default it will be generated here you can see that cancel create table library in name two fields i have created and in the down section you can see that there is a foreign key like a, a primary key uh, thing in the book you can see the foreign key reference you can see here there are uh, two alter other than done there is a down section which is having a foreign key.